Step to Christ, Growing Up into Christ. Even John, the beloved disciple, the one who most fully reflected the likeness of the Savior, did not naturally possess that loveliness of character. He was not only self-assertive and ambitious for honor, but impetuous and resentful under injuries. But as the character of the Divine One was manifested to him, he saw his own deficiency and was humbled by the knowledge. The strength and patience, the power and tenderness, the majesty and meekness that he beheld in the daily life of the Son of God filled his soul with admiration and love. Day by day his heart was drawn out toward Christ until he lost sight of himself in love for his master. His resentful, ambitious temper was yielded to the molding power of Christ. The regenerating influence of the Holy Spirit renewed his heart. The power of the love of Christ wrought a transformation of character. This is the sure result of union with Jesus. When Christ abides in the heart, the whole nature is transformed. Christ's Spirit, His love, softens the heart, subdues the soul, and raises the thoughts and desires toward God and heaven. When Christ ascended to heaven, the sense of His presence was still with His disciples. It was a personal presence, full of love and light. Jesus, the Savior, who had walked and talked and prayed with them, who had spoken hope and comfort to their hearts, had, while the message of peace was still upon his lips, been taken up from them into heaven, and the tones of his voice had come back to them as the cloud of angels received him. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew 28 verse 20 He had ascended to heaven in the form of humanity. They knew that he was before the throne of God, their friend and savior still, that his sympathies were unchanged, that he was still identified with suffering humanity. He was presenting before God the merits of his own precious blood, showing his wounded hands and feet in remembrance of the price he had paid for his redeemed. They knew that he had descended to heaven to prepare places for them and that he would come again and take them to himself. Step to Christ, page 73.